I'm Joshua Kimball. This is vlog number 60. This is the vlog where I talk about quarterly stories. And what is quarterly stories? Well, quarterly stories is my graphic novel that I hand write, hand letter, and hand ink, and uh, hand draw, and then hopefully hand to you, uh, eventually as a printed book. But in the meanwhile, is serialized online at quarterlystories.com. Um, so I highly encourage you guys, when this video is over, go check out quarterlystories.com. Uh, it's a very personal story to me. Um, it's a story about faith and mental health. Hazard illness. reported ahead. Thank you, Waze. And Waze just threw me off entirely from my little opening bit. But uh, it's a good story, so check it out. And this is the vlog where I document the process of creating this stuff on top of being a full-time art director, a father, and a husband. And uh, yeah, um, pretty good stuff. I did Artcasters uh, two days ago, and I might have overdone it because after Artcasters, I decided to edit vlog 49 and ended up getting to bed around like three or four in the morning. And um, I've been doing that a lot this week, a lot of like late night working. And so yesterday when I got home from work, I literally crashed, like I was exhausted. So I hung out with the kid and the wife a little bit, and then I went straight to bed and slept. And now I am feeling compounded by guilt by the fact that uh, I missed my 30 minutes. And this is probably one of the first times in, I don't know, like, half a year that I missed my 30 minute mark. I usually work 30 minutes a day on my comic book. And the thinking behind that is I'd rather get some progress done on my work every single day than no progress. So even 30 minutes, even if it's like a panel a day, hey, at least I'm moving forward. And the weird thing is I've noticed a lot of the time the guys that like spend more than 30 minutes a day end up burning out. So 30 minutes a day, um, usually equates to sometimes like two hours a day, but the point is it always has to be a minimum of 30 minutes a day Today I'm feeling a little sad because yesterday <clears throat> Like I said, I didn't touch my comics and um, That's not a normal thing. That's not something I uh, I uh, usually do what I did do though <clears throat> during art casters was ink panel one of page 46 for quarterly stories and what I'm going to hopefully do tonight is make up for my miss today by hopefully inking at least two panels on page 46, which will get me about a third through done inking the page. So we'll see how that goes. But I feel like I've learned a valuable lesson that I have to relearn once or twice every year, which is it's important to get sleep. It's important to exercise. It's important to take care of your body and your mind and your soul while you're working on projects. Hazard reported ahead. Thank you again, Waze. Um, and Waze, like it's saying, hazard reported ahead. But I mean, like, if you think about it, I am no, by no means justifying. I think that excuses tend to be a crutch that we fall back on to basically explain and justify our shortcomings as human beings. And I mean, it's good to have explanations and justifications. And sometimes, hey, you know, if like you try really hard to do something and you fail, maybe you need some of that justification and that excuse making to help you feel better and continue on and not completely give up. However, I tend to try to avoid those things because at the end of the day, I could have probably trooped through and done another panel last night. Now, I was really physically exhausted and once again, I missed the mark, but the way I'm looking at it today is no excuses. When I'm off work today, I am back on that horse and I'm gonna do two panels of inking. Another thing that has made me realize is like at the beginning of this week, I had jumped a little bit ahead and had penciled a lot more than I needed to. I, I ended up staying up really late, once again to like three in the morning, uh, just finishing an entire page. And then the next day I went to work and I felt 110% and then I went home and I inked and I felt 110% and I did a podcast and I felt 110% and I was editing and I've been you know, more active with the vlog, which has made me feel in turn really excited and with a person like me, like I tend to be a bit of a workaholic anyway. So once I start feeling like I'm accomplishing stuff, it, it's almost a danger sometimes because I'll get on this really good roll where I'm getting more done than I should be. And then I have a day like last night where I kind of crash and burn and I know I overdid it. So lesson for you guys out there is first off, like, you know, if you guys are working on these projects, 
be careful not to crash and burn. It's better to burn slow and steady and win instead of fast and you know cocky and end up losing the race. Keeping with this race analogy, I know it's very cliche, but you, we all know the story of the tortoise and the hare. And the comic book, the art of the comic book is very much being the tortoise. It takes a long time to get these things done and you gotta attack it every single day. But don't overexert your attack. Think of it like you're a general and your time is your troops, right? You want to win each battle, meaning you want to be putting in the time every day but you don't want to overdo it and put all your troops on the line for a really mild battle that could have been won with less troops, right? Um, you got to save those troops for the real battle. So I've overloaded this with analogies and I'm showing you a process video of me inking those two panels, hopefully, and that'll be later today. And now I'm heading to work and it's clear skies again in the first time in all week. So to me, that's also a nice sign California is back to California weather, at least temporarily. <clears throat> to explain that further, if you guys haven't been watching the last few vlogs, California has been in a drought for a really long period of time. But sometimes, almost every winter, we get these massive amounts of rain. And this year has been really unusual because we've gotten more rain than usual. And so when I was saying on the vlog a couple days ago that it felt like Portland, it really felt like Portland. Now, did it feel like Portland in winter? Hell no. Portland in winter is terrible. But it was pouring rain to the extent where it was even hard to have visibility on the roads. Um, and then to compound that even worse, you know, in California, when it rains, everybody starts driving like a lunatic because they're almost afraid of rain. Like, what is this strange water falling from the sky? What shall we do? And they don't know what to do when they're in rain and driving. So they're like, I think we should speed in the rain. And then they end up getting in accidents and backing up traffic. Or another side of this is they go, I think we should drive five miles an hour in the rain. And then they end up slowing down and sometimes causing accidents. And then we're in traffic. So basically, point being, uh, California has been raining like crazy. And this is the first time I've seen a clear sky all week, which I know for those of you who are not in California and are not party to such wonderful weather as we have, that probably sounds like the stupidest statement in the world where it's like, wow, you had one week of not seeing clear skies. But to be frank, that's why I live in California. I love the clear skies. I love being able to have sunlight. And I didn't realize I loved this until I lived out of state and I missed it like it was an old friend, the sun. So point being, sun's out, sky's blue. Um, you know, I got the rest that I needed last night, and so I am feeling pretty pumped and charged and ready to attack and get back on the comic source and also to do a really kick-ass job at my work. I'm about to wrap this vlog up because I know the last one's gone almost like 20 minutes, and um, I, I just wanted to ask really quick, like, how do you guys deal with burnout? Like, when you've gone a little too hard all week and then you have that day where you're just, you're gonna pass out, you know? Like your body is just not mentally there. Your brain isn't there. You're just not not able to do it. How do you guys deal with those days? And you know, if you're being obnoxious and you comment, hey, you know what, I don't have those days, good for you. I just, frankly, you know, I had one of those days and I'm feeling like you shouldn't have those days. And I kind of agree, I need better time management with my time on my personal projects so that I don't overdo it, so that I can be good for the long haul. I mean, I'm exactly where I need to be on my comic and I'm exactly where I would have been anyway had I worked yesterday because of the extra hours I put into it throughout the week. But at the same time, I don't want to burn out like that. I want to be in it for the long run. I want to be the tortoise. Another question that I'd like to ask of you guys is like, you know, if you were the tortoise or the hare in this race story, you know, which would you prefer to be, the tortoise or the hare? Like, to me, I totally prefer to take it tortoise style and, like, start my, my jog slow and then end strong and finished. Thanks for watching this vlog. I hope you guys are okay. I hope you'll forgive me for missing a day. That sucks. I am not forgiving me for missing a day. Today I'm making up for it. Hopefully... Hazard reported ahead. Oh my gosh. Waze. Waze, really, we heard you.
there are hazards reported ahead all over this roadways because it has been raining and Californians drive in rain like Donald Trump is driving our government right into the ground. They don't know what they're doing. Huh? So since Waze is done with what it was saying and I'm done with my little slight aside about Donald Trump being a terrible president, I will talk to you guys later. But I have one last thing. If you like this, like, comment, share, subscribe. If you like Donald Trump, I'm sure you've already unsubscribed. Bad jokes, check. Inking two panels. This is me from the past talking to me from the future who's streaming this right below. Yeah, check. Should have inked both panels by now. And of course, I'm going to do a time lapse so it looks like it only took like 10 minutes. In reality, it'll probably take a couple hours. And heading to work, check. Vlog finished, check. Thanks, guys. I will talk to you later, and I hope that you have a pleasant day, a pleasant evening with your family. Pleasant, pleasant. Talk to you later. Bye.